The Red Wedding in Game of Thrones seems like the kind of brutality that could only happen in the barbaric lands of Westeros. But the same thing happened here, in Abergavenny Castle, around 900 years ago in 1175. It was Christmas Day, and a time of constant, brutal war between the Normans and the Welsh. It's a fantastic story, and pops up every few years in a Welsh newspaper. In 1160, the castle belonged to Henry Fitzmills, the Lord of Abergavenny, but was later besieged by Cecil ap Duffenwelt, before returning to Henry a few years later. Not long after that, in battle, Cecil killed Henry, and with no heir of his own, Henry's land and titles passed to his son-in-law, William de Breos. Now we arrive to Christmas Day in 1175 and the infamous slaughter of Abergavenny Castle. William invited Cecil, his son Joffrey, not that Joffrey, and some other Welsh lords to the castle around Christmas time. At this time, this is probably seen as a peace offering by the Welsh to end all of the hostilities between the two parties, but it was a trick. Cecil arrived at the castle with his son Joffrey and around 75 people in total and handed over their armor and their weapons as was customary at the time. Much as in the iconic Red Wedding, William's men locked the doors and slaughtered the unarmed Cecil, Joffrey, and the 75 other men that were with them. But William did not stop there. He rode south to find Cecil's wife and his young son, and there ended the lineage of Cecil. While William's motivation for this seems like it was probably revenge for the death of Henry, it's also likely that he used the opportunity to destabilize other families in the area and take advantage of the situation to secure his own family's wealth and titles. But even at this time, there were laws and customs and you couldn't just go around murdering whoever you wanted, especially at a time of such tentative relations on the Welsh border, something the current King Henry II didn't need. And as punishment, William de Breos was forced to pass down his land and his titles to his son. However, many of the Welsh were still not content, and six years later they stormed this castle, and burned it to the ground, and took many of the de Breos men hostage. And that was the story of the infamous Abergavenny Castle slaughter. I'm by no means the first to point out the similarities between this and the Red Wedding. But, despite this being arguably the most similar event in history to the Red Wedding, this was not the true event that inspired the events in George R. R. Martin's books. These were two Scottish pieces of history. The first was the Black Dinner of 1440, and the second was the Massacre of Glencoe in 1692. But it just goes to show, however bloody and brutal fiction is, real history will always beat it.